Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and are making some really good trades and let's dive right into this analysis today. So again, the markets uh, got some more upside and especially in the triple Qs as per usual and our my analysis remains the same. I still think we're going to get uh, more upside in this market before we find uh, a significant top and so far so good. You know, we continue to, to push higher and Obviously, the shorts that are continuing to shorten continue to cause this market to go higher. So we're just gonna go uh, with the flow here, and uh, and if we could, if we could, if we erase our bridges, you know, it's gonna be business as usual. We'll extend the wave three, right? And uh, right now, I don't see any problems. That good data came out. You know, unemployment went up. Uh, job numbers were a little bit higher than expected, but still didn't phase this market. Uh, actually, causing the dollar. Uh, to go down here so i think we we finally found our top here in the dollar with a nice breakdown here obviously nothing going is going to go down in a straight line so we'll probably get some uh some uh some backing filling here and eventually it, it we will uh, most likely continue down this wave three four and a five and then break down uh into my target area of a 98 to all the way to 97 so uh, when that happens i expect a significant upside to come uh, in the in the fun not in, sorry not in the financial markets but in the whole market uh, uh, as a whole uh, let me take a look here at the 20 year yield very quickly covering the yields so the yields uh whoops not this one the 20 year so the 20 year breaking down lower uh, same as the 10 year essentially the same pattern uh lots of watching lots of videos on youtube you know lots of analysts uh, the 10 year is going to break out this is it 10 years going higher, you know, thinking the rates are going higher. They're done. They are done when a push comes to shove, when inflation, uh, not inflation, when unemployment starts to tick up. Uh, they're very scared of unemployment heading into, into, into elections. They will cut, right? So just, you know, this game is just a waiting game right now. And when the, when we get maybe one more good CPI report, that's going to be it, in my opinion, for this, for the for the Fed. And they're going to pivot and they're going to cut earlier maybe than expected. And the whole market's going to love it, right? And it doesn't mean that things are going well in the economy, right? The bears, their whole case for shorting this market is that the economy is weak. But the market is not the economy. The market is emotions and traders and investors. And eventually it's going to affect earnings, right? Pretty significantly and the guidance will be awful then and only then uh will we be looking for maybe you know some shorts but we'll see you know the market technicals need to line up and uh, right now the technicals show more upside we're in a really strong uptrend uh all right so let's cover a few individual names here and if you guys want to want to follow my trades i'm i'm trying to get a ups, uh, website running here to uh, post my profit loss history so see some people are wondering if they should sign up for the service it's uh Obviously, you need. Yeah, I would make sense to to know what you're buying, right? So I'm gonna be getting uh, that up running, and I'm gonna be you know posting the the track the track uh, the history of uh, profit and losses. Okay. Um. Let me continue on. Um. So yeah, let's take a look at Apple. We'll start off with Apple. Uh, Apple, like I said, was this was a dip buy opportunity in a wave four. Now pushing higher in the final fifth wave. Uh, we're in this third wave here, and then we'll get a, a once this is done, we'll get a pullback in a four. Uh, and once that we this four is done, and uh, we'll get another fifth wave to finish up this larger fifth wave, unless we erase divergence, uh, that would that would really be bullish for Apple. But uh, it's hard to see that this thing can continue up like this without getting a a, a bigger pullback. But uh, we'll we'll see. You know, you never know. You know, Nvidia kept erasing divergence for the longest time, and we just kept going higher and higher and higher and higher. Right. Okay, so let me continue here. Let's take a look at, well, I mean, NVIDIA is pushing higher here, but uh, I don't know if this is a significant low. It's kind of like in a, in a dead zone for me, but some people have already bought the dip. Some people I know uh, have already started buying the dip here and expect more upside in this fifth wave. So hats off to them if they, if they nail the trade. But uh, for me, I'm not in NVIDIA at the moment. This low was one that we got out of uh, recently. We took profits on this trade. We're up 69%. Uh, this one was uh, we traded through TSS TSLL, which is a two times leverage Tesla bull ETF, uh, and we cashed this one in. Obviously, we could have waited a little bit more uh, and cashed in even more gains, but you know I like to secure my profits. So, the me Tesla is uh, is finally you know getting its 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 uh, its rally here, 
and it's finishing up probably inside of a fifth wave or trying to form a four uh, but really it's just so bullish it's kind of hard to, to say if this is if this wave four has even happened but if it has it's 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 going for this fifth wave and it's inside this third wave right now so really bullish on tesla i think there's much more upside to come on tesla and uh, people who are bearish this name are going to get uh are going to get blown up in my opinion um let's take a look at uh amazon so someone in my discord asked for amazon uh, amazon here is a little bit trickier uh it's kind of in this fifth wave trying to finish up and kind of consolidate most likely in a way four but if you explode higher in your race divergence uh you know then this is going to cause the the third wave to extend which i expect it to to be honest but uh you know four, fourth wave consolidation and another fifth wave let's cover uh meta meta had an amazing day today so like i was covering all the other stocks as well um inside of the third is the inside of this third wave this was another dip by opportunity held the low and now you're you're rallying so congrats if you you followed this this call you know you'd be in the money you'd be in the money here okay this uh, this chart is getting a little bit messy they're gonna gotta move a few things here there we go so looks a little bit better there we go so that's uh this is meta All right so Meta's inside of a meta's inside of a three three so extremely bullish extremely bullish uh let's take a look at uh let me see here uh take a look at roku right roku uh roku is just following rk really in a uh, kathy woodstock so again i was trying to buy this uh many times here uh, and it kind of got stopped out a couple of times because i'm following my, my my stops right you know good traders follow their stops bad traders will hold on forever and lose their lose their whole portfolio but uh for me i think uh, uh if this if the bottom is if the bottom is forming here which is look like it looks like it may it may be because you're starting to get an impulse off the lows here on the daily. Uh, then this another dip down. It, if it dips back down to 56 or 58, it's a dip by opportunity potentially for a third wave rally in July. But uh, I you know I said if it breaks the low, it, it could possibly you know crash back down. But you know Roku is just so beaten up, oversold really favoring this name for upside but uh, i, I want to be patient on this one if it if it breaks back on down on earnings it's gonna be a tragedy for me i guess okay let's talk about the hang sang so people are asking me when the hang sang is going to be a buy again um to me it looks like it's breaking back down just gotta be patient once it gets into this buy area we're gonna be buying in and i'll let you guys know inside the discord when i do when i do get back in the end but uh, just not yet right you gotta be patient uh, we are currently in triple the TQQQ. We're up 23% or 25% now on this name. Uh, again, this was a dip buy, and I told you guys this was a dip buy, and the market's going to go higher, and now we're, we're clearly moving higher. Um, let me see. Uh, GDX, we'll talk about the GDX, GDXU. So this one was a dip buy for me as well. Uh, added to the position. Oh, no, not this position, but added to AG, uh, which is essentially a silver miner, bouncing off its 200-day moving average. And rallying up here and silver's breaking out so all these uh, gold mining and gold uh, gold etfs uh, should all be pushing higher we're inside of this first wave of the fifth wave for silver and again very bullish on silver the shorts have lost control this is a massive short squeeze for institutions this these names are going to go much higher and, and precious metals are going much higher dollars breaking down all things are set here for for commodities to go higher uh, oil short played out beautifully again nailed this one on the head uh, this was a clear retest and then it failed so oil should be breaking down but it might be a bit a little it might be a little bit harder for oil to go down if the dollar is uh, also falling down right okay let me cover some more individual names uh let me see i got i i, I always i try to remember all the names people ask me to take a look at uh, so Mara surprisingly uh, only dropped three point eight six percent today, even with Bitcoin dropping down so much. Uh, and we can see here. Let me see. Let me get back on Hut Mining. Uh, Hut Mining should be finishing up in a fifth wave, so we should be rallying up here and then getting some divergences going. Uh, but if it doesn't, then this is going to be just a super uber bullish pump in Hut Mining. It should continue to go up. Again, I was talking about hot mining when it was at $7. Then 
Now it's at 16. All right, let's see. BCH. Uh, BCH held the low today uh, with this dip down. And so did LTCN, I believe. So all these names are good uh, long opportunities for us to go higher. I actually opened some longs on my crypto channel. So if you guys want to check out for crypto analysis, you guys can follow me there. And I have my services there posted as well. All right. So that uh, basically wraps it up. Don't really have much to talk about. The daily candles and weekly candles are all pointing to more upside. Same thing on the triple Qs. More upside. Very bullish. Uh, daily just just increasing green money flow increasing green money flow iwm is a little bit tougher iwm looks weak right now you know you have you're down in the after hours you got a red dot confirmation on the daily right now the four hours also increasing with red money flow but on my count here we have a one two setup you know many one two setups and it looks like it could have an explosive move higher if the yields were to were to drop this would cause this to, to literally explode explode higher but uh, we'll see we'll see if these lows can hold you know one 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 drop down and all of this is invalidated and we got we got ourselves a bigger correction coming which could lead us down to 184 possibly and maybe this could this could literally cause a small caps to to completely melt down but uh, this would mean that the dollars shooting back up yields are shooting back up which i don't think they are so there's the best risk reward is in uh is in uh i small caps right now um you know they've been consolidating for a while so a breakout should be coming soon all right have a wonderful weekend guys i'll catch you guys on the next one peace